feed 2013. Hello everyone and welcome. Our story in today's movie starts with a psychiatric hospital abandoned for some reason six years ago. Here we see this girl, and as soon as she looked into the mirror, she felt like torturing herself. So she took off the person and split her lip in half for some unknown reason, and then her nose was cut off. After a while, a production team decided to make a horror movie at the hospital, as it's the perfect place for movies like this because it's an abandoned scary place. This is the screenwriter Chris. He came to see how his movie would be represented, but he was never at ease with the place, especially after seeing this picture belonging to the hospital director who committed suicide, and his features don't bread well. He also saw blood like liquid dripping down the ceiling, but it didn't stop there. The entire building seemed disgusting, full of dirt and smells like rot. While Beth was transporting the photographic equipment, she heard the sound of something falling down, so she went to find out what it was. She found a book with pictures of strange treatment methods for patients that look like torture methods. After that, a drop of a blood like liquid dripped on the hospital director's picture, and then part of the ceiling fell. Upon arriving at the shooting set, Chris met the director by chance, who appeared to be an eccentric person, and right after that, Chris's foot got cut in the wires and the cameraman fell in a nail. As for the sound engineer, he began to hear a strange noise behind the wall captured by the microphone which looked like echo or phantoms. Then this man heard the sound of the steps above him, and when Brian went up to ask them to stop moving, he found them in their places and none of them moved. So, who was moving? Is that the strange girl we saw at the beginning or something we don't know about? There seems to be something odd going on in this terrifying hospital. Here we see Jack, who plays the role of the hero in the movie they shoot looking at the actors with him with a sexual gaze. And when she was adjusting her clothes, he told him he would check, meant to check the size of her breast, but he never mentioned how, like he was hiding something, his behavior seemed to get more violent and weird. After Rachel got into the elevator, the power suddenly went out, and drops of the blood began to drip from the ceiling of the elevator, where she saw something that looked like someone behind her. But when the elevator door was opened, there was no one there. And the weirdest thing is that the power wasn't switched off at the bottom. Andre ordered Beth to go and look for Rachel. The elevator was messed up, and after she got to the top floor, she saw something. Thank God Rachel was safe, but she was really scared and said there was someone in the elevator and refused to come with Beth. It didn't stop there. Even Andre's behavior began to become a little weird as if he had an obsessive disorder and his condition got a lot worse when Chris found him talking to the wall. It seems that things have begun to worsen. As these two writers have found a place to torture people with the torture tools used to penetrate skulls. And when they opened the sewer, they heard a sound as if a phantom had come out of it. As for the shooting place, when Andrew was talking to one of the production team, the electricity went out. But when this young man looked at the fuse box, he found nothing. However, he heard a voice, followed it, and when he reached this bill full of a black liquid, a ghost came out, drowned him in the liquid, and disappeared with them. The place appears to be filled with the souls of the victims who died there, as a result of the torture. While it's still unclear to know if this hospital is for treatment or torture, here's one of the writers we saw earlier. He asked the person in charge of the makeup to draw blood on the wall as if he had been shot, but the artist asked him to close her eyes, where he shot and killed him. In the other side of the building, Harry saw a ghost at the entrance of the room, but he immediately disappeared, so it looks like the ghost got to them. As for Jess, she felt something looking at her. Mitch went to the pool to check the place as some sort of curiosity. But unexpectedly, his leg got stuck on the pool floor and the water started flowing from the pipe as if the ghost went to drown him in the water. Then he got a blood and knocked him down. It seems the ghost has become bolder and craftier. 
Jack went to shave his face and strangely decided to shave his head. Then he did the same thing to his eyebrows and became someone with weird shape. As for Bruce, he heard a very loud sound that tore his eardrums and started to bleed. The roll was standing and then disappeared for no apparent reason, and Beth looked for him but couldn't find him. Rachel, after filming the murder scene, she went for a shower, followed by Jack who became like a zombie and murdered her with multiple stab wounds. Sounds like things just got out of hand. Even this disciplined girl in her work, when she was making juice, she put her hand in the blender to make juice blended with blood without feeling the slightest pain. On the other side, Bruce hit his head against the wall without stopping, and when his colleague tried to stop him, he murdered him and smudged the wall with his head. Apparently, the only person left in tech was Chris, and when he entered one of the rooms, he found Andre cutting with a handsaw the corpse of the young woman who put her hand in the blunder. So he fled at once. But will the ghost let him escape? Suddenly he found himself tied up in the cap of Jack, who was dressed in ritual clothes and holding his hand two silicone fillers for her breasts, who said earlier that he would check out the reason for her large dress. Things seemed to be really frightening. Chris managed to escape and fell down. But he decided to kill Jack with a stake with nails inside. Then he runs away and meets Beth and it seems that she is still normal and that the ghost has not inhibited her body. They escape together but found Harry in their path who seemed to be under the influence of drugs. So Mitch pounced on him and beat him. And a chase adventure began for them. But unfortunately the elevator is not working. It looks like the ghost shot off the power. So they worked out the emergency exit. But Mitch followed them. However, Beth stopped him and killed him. Once they reached the upper level, they heard the ghost voice. Mitch's murder wasn't the end of the nightmare. And no matter where they go, they find somebody in their face. Then the ghost gathered everyone to grab them and watch them in a narrow spot. Chris tried to lock the door and Beth went to call for help. But the rest of the monsters controlled by the ghost were able to get in and get them. It seems that the brutality of this place doesn't allow anyone to leave. If he enters, becomes a zombie or dies. Thank you for watching. Click on the thumbs up if you like the story. And see you in the next video.